Well, we're all paying more at the grocery store and food prices are projected to increase by 1.2 percent this year. Officials say some will see changes to the Supplemental Nutrition Assistance Program or SNAP. 13 Action News reporter J.D. Pooley spent the morning in Finley finding out what's being done to help those in need. It's been rough. <laughs> I can't lie to you about that. Um, I mean, we definitely go the paycheck to paycheck. Finley resident Shelby Berry is not alone. According to government data, in 2023, food prices increased by 5.8 percent. We decided because of the rising prices and a couple other factors that we were going to invest more in 2024 in food insecurity. Angela Dabosky, CEO of the United Way of Hancock County, says her organization increased their food programming budget by 30 percent for 2024. We're seeing people come in that say, um, you know, I'm retired. I live on a fixed income. Uh, I can't afford my medicine and my food. This year alone, SNAP benefits in Hancock County are expected to be down by $1.2 million. You weren't making 100 and some, now I'm down 67. That's Gary Faluga talking about the weekly reduction in SNAP benefits that he receives from the government. I've started cooking soups and different things like that, you know, to help out. Dabosky says almost $350,000 this year will go towards feeding the hungry in Hancock County. We have everything from supplying more food drives locally to um, new people that are coming in saying I need assistance. So we have weekend meals for kids, we have voucher programs in Hancock County, and we have food drives that um, a lot of members of our, our community participate in. Dabosky is hopeful that the 30% increase in funding will meet the needs of the community. Often see there's pendulum swings in certain areas in the community. Community. And through keeping our eye on it, knowing what's around the corner, we hope to really be able to not just take care of today, but see what's tomorrow and make sure that we're there too. In Finley, J.D. Pooley, 13 Action News.